Hey, what's up everybody? Tutal Toby here, and in today's On Shape step-by-step -step tutorial, we're gonna take a look at a tier two complexity model. So it's not the easiest level of complexity, but it's the second easiest level of complexity. This model is called Drink Coaster, and it's found over here at the Tutal Toby website, where you can sign up for a free user account, and then you can click here to get started with free practice models. And here we see we've got a repository of over 130 2D to 3D practice models challenges where you can use any 3D CAD system and try to take a 2D drawing and turn it into a 3D model and calculate the mass accurately. Now, there's about 20 challenges on here that are free for anyone with a free Too Tall Toby account. And then if you really like the app, you can upgrade to the premium membership and you can unlock this entire library. Well, one of these totally free challenges is this one here, 250106. So let's click here to practice and see what we can do with this thing. It looks like 137 people have completed this model so far. So let's see if we can become number 138. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here. I'm going to click here to begin and go. What is the mass of this part? in XX grams. Very simple here. Just what is the mass in XX grams? Looks like the material for this part is red oak, which has a density of 570 kilograms per cubic meter. So let's take a look at this part. I know we're running against the clock, but it's always good to kind of come up with a game plan. This is a tier two part. So I think this is going to be a pretty straightforward build. I think what we're going to do is we're going to start out on the top plane and we're going to create a rectangle on the top plane with the dimensions of 100 by 100 millimeters. And then we can take that geometry and we can extrude it here to this depth of nine millimeters. Then once we've got that rectangle in place, we can create a new sketch on that upper face of the rectangle and sketch this 85 millimeter circle. Then we can extrude that down to a depth of four millimeters. And then finally, we can get in here and we can add in our radius here, eight millimeters in four places. So like I said, I think this is going to be a pretty straightforward build. I know I still took about a minute to come up with a game plan, but I think it's always good to come up with a game plan before you actually get into the 3D modeling. And if you agree, be sure to hit the like button on this video. So let me move this drawing over to my second screen. Let's bring up our keyboard and that way you can see all the keyboard shortcuts that I'm using. And let's get into it here in Onshape. I'm gonna to choose to create a new document. I'm gonna call this document 25-01-06 Drink Coaster. And I'm gonna store this here in the public workspace in Onshape. And that way, if you ever want to search for this file, you can just log into Onshape and then search this public repository. Just search for this file name and you'll be able to look it up. And that, that goes for really any of the models in these challenges. There's probably somebody out there who did it and it's probably searchable here in this public repository. So create public document. And now I'm gonna to choose to create a new sketch on the top plane. So top plane, S key, begin a sketch. I'm gonna press the N key, which is a shortcut for normal too. And then I'm gonna press the S key again, and I'm gonna jump into the rectangle command. Now remember this S key can be customized. So you right mouse button, you say customize, like I added my boss extrude command here, my extrude command onto the S key menu. So S key, and then I'm gonna choose this rectangle command, center point rectangle, single click on the origin, move my mouse, single click again, let go of my mouse, and then I'm gonna type in 100, enter, 100, enter. And now if I wanted to, I could draw that circle in this sketch, but I'll just save it for my second sketch. So I'm gonna do S key extrude, and we're gonna bring this out to a height of nine millimeters. So nine, enter, enter. Now I'm gonna choose this upper face here, S key, begin a sketch, S key, circle. If I take my mouse kind of close to the origin, I'll wake up the center there. So wake up that point, you see it's kind of above the origin. Or if you press N, you can get normal too, that might make it a little easier. Single click, move my mouse, single click again, let go of my mouse, 85, enter. And then I can press the S key again, I can choose extrude. And this time I'm gonna change the extrusion to a remove. So up here you've got solid, remove, and then for the depth of this cut, we're gonna take this down to a depth of four millimeters. So four, enter, enter, nice. And now for our final feature, we're gonna choose the fillet command. So fillet, 
And with the fillet command, what you can do is you can input your radius. So this is going to be a radius of eight here. Enter. And then you can come out here to this uh, uh, edge, this one single edge here. And you can right mouse button on this one single edge. And then what you can choose is select. And then you can choose parallel edges. And what that will do is it'll go around and get all four of those vertical edges because they're all parallel to that first edge. So that saves you having to rotate the view and it saves you having to move around that model. So I'm gonna hit the check mark here, and now we are ready to find out the mass of this part. Sometimes what I like to do is just make the colors look a little bit more like what the customer gives us. So I might right mouse button here on the name of the part and say edit appearance, and maybe make this like a kind of like that tan color like what the customer gave us. Hit the check mark there. And then now that I've got that geometry looking pretty good, I can right mouse button on that part again, and I can go to assign material. And the material that I'm going to assign here is going to come from the TTT Custom Materials Library available for any OnShape users. You can just search the public repository for that. And then I'm going to say that this is going to use the custom Tutal Toby material, Red Oak. So we say Red Oak, we hit the green check mark. And then down here, it's kind of behind where my clock is, but down here, there's a, it looks like a set of scales. That's your mass properties icon. So we click that mass properties icon, then we click here anywhere on the part, just kind of click anywhere on the part. And we see that we're coming up with a mass of 38.1 grams. So let's go over into our mass box down here, 38.1, enter, and yes, we got it correct. Awesome. So we see here that it's telling us that your answer is correct. 38.1 grams is correct. Took you five minutes and 10 seconds. Click here and you'll be awarded one point on the community scoreboard. So let's do it. So we submitted it. We got a point there. Our answer was within the specified tolerance. And now 138 people have completed this challenge. Nice. And so it looks like my time for this model was five minutes and 10 seconds. The average time was two minutes and 18 seconds. Wow. So if I wanted to, I could go up here and use this try again button to try to get my time down a little bit lower, try and get closer to the average time. But uh, that is the uh, that is the the uh, process. Wow, look at this. Levi, Levi did it in 27 seconds using on shape. Wow, that is super fast. Look at this, Mesa Makes did it in 35 seconds. Wow, wow, wow. These guys are speed demons. XB did it in Fusion 360 in 36. Phosphor did it in Plasticity in 38 seconds. Wow, wow, wow. That is awesome. So wow, wow, wow. Very impressive. And uh, for me, I'm just happy that I was able to get it done and I was able to come up with the correct mess. And if you enjoyed that Too Tall Toby tutorial, be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And of course, be sure to visit us at TooTallToby.com where you can sign up and try some of these free challenges. And I will look forward to seeing all of you in the next On Shape tutorial.